Here are two problems, two examples of problems that have to do with uh, percentages, one having to do with sales tax and one having to do with discount. Alejandro bought a television set for $900 and paid a sales tax of 8%. How much did he pay for the television set? Well, we have a television set that costs a certain amount. And we have uh, some tails, sales tax that he has to pay on top of that. So the television set costs $900. And that would be 100% of the cost of the television set. And in addition, when you pay sales tax, you pay that in addition to the amount um, of the item that you're buying. So he's going to pay an 8% sales tax. And in order to know how much he paid for the television set altogether, we have to know what this amount is. So we want 8% of 900. Well, 8% of $900 means that we're going to do 8% times $900. And in order to do that, we'll write 8% as a decimal. So we want to do 8 hundredths times $900. So I'll work that out. A times zero, zero. And I've got two digits behind the decimal in the problem altogether, so that means that we're going to move the decimal over two spaces and our answer is $72. That's the sales tax, so that goes here. And to get the total, we're going to want to add 900 plus 72, and that is $972. So he paid nine hundred and seventy two dollars for the television set Alice saved for a new bike the bike was on sale for a discount of thirty five percent the original cost of the bike was two hundred and seventy dollars how much did she pay for the bike well discount is an amount that you take off of the original amount. Without the discount, the bike costs $270. And that is 100% of the cost of the bike. But Alice is only going to pay this much with 35% removed. Now there are two ways that we can uh, do this and uh, what we want to find is how much did she pay for the bike. So we want to find out that. There are two ways that we can do it. We can find what 35% is and we could um, subtract that from the 100% or we could figure out what this is as a percentage and find out what amount that is of 270. So I'll show you both methods. First of all, we will do 35% of 270. And as we noticed before, in order to get that, we're going to do 270 times 35 hundredths, 35 percent written as a decimal. So that will be 3 times 0, 3 times 7 is 21. K 
show you the two, three times two, eight. Three times two, six with two, eight. And so we've got nine, four, five, zero. There are two digits behind the decimal place in the problem. So we will move the decimal over two places. 35% of $270 is $94.50. A discount, we want to remove, we have to remove the 35%. So that's $94.50. Want to take that off. So we'll do two, uh, $270 minus $94.50. I need to add enough places here so that they have the same number of places. Zero minus zero is zero. And to subtract five from zero, I need to come borrow from this place. And before I can do that, I need to borrow here. So that's going to be a six. That makes that a 10. Borrow from the 10 makes it a nine. 10 minus five is five. 9 minus 4 is 5. 6 minus 9, I can't do that, so I'm going to borrow here. One. 16 minus 9 is 7. $175.50. Method number 2. Going back to our original problem here, if I know that if 35% is taken away, the percent that's left is going to be 65%. So I want to find 65%. That'll be 270 times 65% is a decimal, 65 hundredths. 5 times 0 is 0, 5 times five, 7, 35, carry the 3, times 2 is 10, plus the 3 is 13, 6 times 0 is 0, 6 times 7, 2, carry the 4, 6 times 2 is 12, with 4, it's going to be 16. and we get our $175.50. So Alice paid $175.50.